Hey TikTok going live tonight. Um, gonna be doing some tests to talk about heat temperatures and the importance of um, you see how high heat works good for sublimation and why it has to have um, good heat. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start off. I have these swatches. These are all sublimated sheets. Um, one sublimate uh, sheets, and um, I'll be using these in our test tonight. And it's just gonna give you an idea to see how different temperatures impact sublimation. So let's talk about um, the iron is the first one I'm going to do. So I just have a um, cotton shirt here and I have my iron turned all the way up. So this is all from um, one, um, one design. And what I'm going to do is just um, have these swatches and then I'll write the numbers on them. And then we can take a look and see um, how the heat impacts your sublimation designs. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this one on here. And this is just the iron. Let me grab a um, parchment paper really quick. Oh, I'm sorry. So, all right. Sorry about that. So what I'm going to do is um, take this right now and put it over this. And see now we've tested also with the iron and um, let me just pull this down a little bit so you can see better and I'm just actually laying it on here because I know that I'm not gonna get the heat that I need to sublimate it and that's why you need high temperatures because those work best for sublimation virtually at least the gases but I'm just gonna lay this on here so it can get as hot as it get and um, that you guys can see and I don't think that our patch will um, actually adhere I don't know but we'll see Oh, thanks for joining me, um, Gary, Gary Spinner. Thanks for joining me. I'm just doing some heat tests tonight um, to show about um, sublimation and uh, heat, why you need hot heat to make sublimation work. So I've left this on here. Normally when you sublimate, um, most temperatures um, range from anywhere from say 360 to um, 400s and usually about 40 seconds. So. We've had this on here um, about 40 seconds, so I'm just going to take it off right now, and then we'll see what it did. And again, like I said, I'm not expecting it to stick. So you do see some color over here on the parchment paper, and you know what sublimation, how that bleeds through. But let's see what happened to this. So there's our color now, and it, it looks nice. Um... The patch didn't all the way stick. Now, I don't know if the iron just didn't get on that part, but you can see there are some, some edges. And that just could be because I just laid the iron down because on these parts. But all the patches will look like that. So now what I'm going to do is turn on my heat press. And let's start at, um, let's start at 100 and see what happens at 100. Do you supplement, Gary? I guess it'd be good to turn a heat press on, huh? So I'm going to set this temperature to 100. Do you think higher? Yes, because 100 is like constant temperature. Okay, so what temperature do you think? One I'd say one, i just start at 200. 200, okay. Mm-hmm. You think um, the iron, how hot do you think the iron gets? Um, 200, 200? 180. Okay. Mm -hmm. Enough so, to burn you. And that's true. The iron does get hot enough to burn you. So we're going to start the test at 200. And we're going to do all of these for, let's just do 15 seconds. I know I said 40 earlier, but since this is actually tied, um, let's just do two for, for 15 set for, uh, 20? 15, you think 20? Okay, we'll do them for 20. My husband's um, over there cutting, so he's not on the video tonight. So we're just going to let that go. And um, you can see right here, this is a patch. So it did get some color, but I'm expecting a lot more um, richer color. And I mean, this looks good, but it should look a lot better and um, deeper with the um, sublimation. 
and you want to use a parchment on paper because sometimes, like I said, with sublimation, you get what's called a ghosting effect, and that's where um, the print bleeds, and they call it ghosting, but you want to make sure that you don't get that ghosting effect on your fabrics, and especially if you have a lighter fabric. Like if I didn't put anything down and then I went to do it, then um, you can actually see it on your print sometimes, and it's really light, and that's why they call it the ghosting effect because it kind of looks like um a really light ghost shadow so that's what that is so i don't know if you can see this but it just it left a little yellow and that's probably from in here <clears throat> so i'm going to get this ready and put this hopefully i don't um burn this shirt but we used the shirt in another um test that we were doing yesterday so So let me just write on here that we did this one with the iron so that way we can see the results. And that way we know what we got from what. And then I'll put the degrees on here so that way you can see exactly what it does. Hi, thank you for joining us, Be Better Designs. I'm doing some, um, oh, and we also have um, Jason PA943. Thank you guys for joining us. So what we're doing is some um, heat test and just talking about how um, sublimation works best with high temperatures. So we took this um, patch. I have all of these patches are the same pretty much. They're from one design. And I'm writing this one we did on the iron. So you see we did get some color. But I was showing that um, the patch, it didn't really, um, well, it, it, it's on there. And um, you could go back with your edges. But I, I'm pretty sure we're going to get much richer colors with the higher temperatures because that's how sublimation works. So we're starting at 200. We're going to test them off for 20 seconds. Oh, hey, what's up, Jay Customs? Thanks for joining us. We're just um, testing heat, seeing how it works with sublimation. So our heater's at 20. I'm sorry, it's at 200. So I'm going to put this swatch on here and I'm going to put this over there not tonight because the shirt is already run i don't care but um, this is the same paper that i just used you don't want to use it too much we're good how are you have you had a chance to try on um, the sublimate sheet yet and then two pressure is really good too so it's a, it's a higher pressure my husband normally pushes it down so i'm not as strong good i'm glad you're good that's good that's good. We're burning the midnight oil, working late. You know how it is when you uh, work for yourself, but it's cool. Thank you guys for joining us. That means a lot. So this is 20 seconds at 200. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this before we reveal. Um, let's do, you think uh, we should do 250 or 300 next? Uh, increments of 50 is cool. Okay, well up it in increments of 50. works. Yep, because like you said, 400 works because um, sublimation likes that um, high temperature because it's got a, um, what happens when you sublimate is that it, um, there's like a chemical reaction or a gas release, I don't know how to explain it, but it um, penetrates into the material and it doesn't come off. So let's look at, oh my gosh. Wow. Well, it, the, look, it did not even stick. It didn't sublimate. Didn't, it didn't do anything. So I guess the iron gets hotter. So our iron, our just our, and it was this iron that we used, and it's still hot. Got hotter. Right. So we'll 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 do two eighty five. Let's side. do fifty. Not put it on the right side. <laughs> They're over here doubting me. Hey, good Not evening, me. um, cats. 909. I hope I said it right. Oh, that, that so, looked okay with the iron? That's yeah, iron? that's with the iron. Oh, but it didn't stick to you. It didn't, but I don't know if the iron was all the way over it because of the way the iron shape. But we see 200, so we know 200, it doesn't work too well because we didn't get any colors out of here. And here's one of the patches, the other ones that we're going to use. So you can see, let me see if I see a darker one because this one's dark. It doesn't look like anything happened to it. So... So now we're gonna try it at 250, and I'm actually gonna um, do the same patch, okay? So my husband's gonna show his hat. He likes to wear this hat oh in our in our video. No, no. Go ahead, show your hat, babe. <laughs> show your hat. It's okay. That's 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 him. He's cutting papers tonight. He doesn't have to work his night job, so he's um he's cutting papers because you know we launched those um eight eight and a half by fourteen. So um, that's what he's doing. He's getting those ready. So we're at 250. 
So we're going to try it at 250. seconds and let's see what happens because you don't sublimate um good evening um malaza i think i said that right malaza 68 i'm sorry I'm sorry if i got you guys names wrong um just um j customs i was like pulverizing the name so just um text me on here and tell me how to say it proper and i'll say it proper so there's our 20 seconds i'm gonna go ahead and set this Babe, you think I need to put it on longer or no? I haven't, I haven't looked at it yet, but you think maybe to do the seconds longer? Or the 40? No, this was 20. Uh, the 20 um, seconds. Um, Let's see what happened. Let's see. But now, you know, because... Oh, it didn't. It didn't. Okay, so let's 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 do forty seconds. Okay. I know for sure forty seconds. So I'm just gonna no. I'm gonna redo it. I know because I'm like. Did you do the iron for that long forty? Um, I set the iron on it for probably probably like a minute when I was setting up. Oh. But I'm gonna set this for forty seconds. Okay. Because you can sublimate. Here's the thing: high temperatures are good, and you can sublimate it. Um, like sometimes if you don't get your desired colors. I say press it again because then sometimes you get richer colors. So here's our test. So now we upped it to 40 seconds and we're still at 250 and, and let's just see. Because that seems like a lot, but. So um, Jay Customs, what are you guys making? Or what are the rest of you guys, um, what, uh, what do you guys do? Design shirts? Um, tumblers. I see so many cool tumblers. I like. I love TikTok because, uh, as my my husband said, TikTok is the um, hustlers channel. Because everybody on TikTok has a hustle uh, and a is making it happening, and it's it's great. It's, it's great because the hustlers network. That's what he said. All right, so let's try and see what happens at forty seconds at two hundred and fifty degrees. And wow. When you about to find out how many times you can use. <laughs> okay, so my sister just said, "How many times are we going to use it?" So let's switch our sheet. Mm -hmm. But I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this no, one on here. Keep it, keep it here, everybody, because if we want to try that one at the regular temps, you want to, okay? Just, you just know, keep, it, keep it nearby because that's the one we're she's questioning. Okay, so let's. And we're gonna try this one at regular temps when we get up there. So my husband's like kind of a scientist, him and my kids. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, I, I, me, okay, so that so, one was set it there, okay. So, oh, let me show you guys, I'm sorry, I didn't share it. So I'm gonna put it down further, that way you guys can see better, because this is the one we did with the iron, and this is that one again, it lifted right up, so we know 250 is not a good temperature. And this is one of the ways that we tested our um, sublimate sheets to see like what we're, and this one, like, as you see, now we're getting, oh, dog, you know what? Yeah, it's, I'm going to turn the iron back on because this one might even be getting more color. Yeah, because so it's, it's reaching this higher heat yep, with the other um, ones. Yeah, because <laughs> did you guys already say it's reaching higher heats? So as, as the heat increases, you get better colors. So I'm now we're going to, I'm going to jump this to um, 300 because we're going to go in increments of 50. And you know, these, these kind of temperatures are temperatures that you probably use for um, for vinyl. And we have a cheat sheet because I always forget the temperatures. But I'll bring it down here. So we're going to do this one at 300 for, um, for 40 seconds. And then as soon as that's ready. So what have you guys been up to? How are you spending your weekend? Are you working like us? It's quieter in our house. The kids aren't asleep, but that's cool. All right, and let's see. We're two seventy seven. So, two. We have been having a couple problems with our um with our printer, not our printer, but our um our heater. We probably need a new one, but that's not that's not like on our list yet of priorities. Cause it still works. It might just take take us a little longer, but that's cool. So we're at two ninety. It's getting here. Um, my husband told me he watched um, a um, a live, and the guy was um, testing out this um, new heater, 
And it took 30 minutes for it to get up to, what temperature was it, babe? Barely like 380, 300, barely like at 400. Barely like at it 400. It took like 30 minutes, fast, fast laps. The time? Mm -hmm. All right, we're at 300, so I'm gonna put that paper over there, set this down, and let's see what happens at 300. So two on your cottons, you can sublimate um, longer um, for like 60 minutes, not 60 minutes, 60 seconds. You sublimate for 60, uh, 60 minutes, your uh, material and your paper are probably going to burn, yeah. <laughs> so don't do that. Um, but yeah, um, high temperatures are really, like I said, they're really great for sublimation. I'm going to do the iron again because I just want to make sure that I didn't mess that up. So I'm going to plug that in. So that we can see that. All right. All right, let's see. So here's 300 at 40 seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and set it up for 350. So to maximize the time. Because I'm really big on that. Because we're trying to go to the beach tomorrow. And I'm just wondering because it's late. I'm like, who's really going to get up? I am. My, oh, okay, so now, okay, so that was, that was 300. So now, as you guys see, we're seeing some color. So it's 300. I'm going to pick it up, but let me just write 300 on here. Did it stick? Um, I don't, I don't know yet. I'm going to try it. So this is 300. And so there's our iron, and then there's our 300. So... Um, it is sticking, babe. No? Yeah, it's sticking. I'm testing in the corners, you guys see, to see if it pulls off. So yeah, it's sticking. 300. That's 300. That's starts. And then not now, now I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't like this because the iron. So let me do, while this warms up, I'm going to, um, do the iron again. I'm going to take this patch and I'm just going to do it down here at the bottom so that we can see the iron. Hi, um... Ooh, crafty. I'm so sorry, cause I, I, I don't even want to pulverize that. Crafty ignores. So show me how to say your name so I can say it right. Cause I want to say it right because it's your business name. It's your tag name. It represents you and I want to do it right. So, okay, we're doing it at 40 seconds. So I'm gonna do this iron test right here at 40 seconds. Let me. Let me grab a parchment, and I'm going to just trick this like I'm printing. Or just press it down. Oh, uh, babe, can you come show me how to do it? Okay. Let me have him um, set this up for me so that way I can tell. What's the deal? 40 seconds? Yeah, 40 seconds. Okay, okay. ready? Um, okay. Okay, go. All right. So I'm just laying the iron there for 40 seconds. This was the other paper. We tried this one at 200 and um, 250. It didn't even stick to the paper. And um, thank you guys for joining us. Um, Sher Sher Sheridan Ham. I'm so sorry if I say that name's like so bad, guys. Don't be upset with me. If you want me to say it properly, if I'm saying it wrong, just tell me the right way. So this one we did at 200 and 250. It did not stick. It did not sublimate. So we're putting the iron on there because I would think that the iron would give the least heat. So that was in my test. I'm going to start with the iron because that's going to give the least heat. So let's try the iron again. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. And the iron is still giving us color. Dang, this is my whole thing to talk about the high heats of sublimation. So this is that second iron patch, and let's see. So, okay, so with the iron patch, we're seeing that it's not sticking. It, it's, oh, it comes off kind of easy, look. And you can see it actually, yep, it's not good. So this one is at 300 degrees. It did stick on there. So we did get some color out of here, but like I said, let's try 350 degrees, and let's see what we get now. And I'm writing them on here so that, um, you know, we, we put these videos on YouTube too. 
We had to cut them down for uh, TikTok, but we put the whole video on YouTube. So this one, okay, we're gonna do this one at 350. And sometimes when you test, you don't get the results that you want, but that's how you find out what works and what doesn't work. So it couldn't even been the amount of time because when we did this one, we only, well, actually, you know what? I'm not, I'm good. We did this one for 20 seconds when we were testing at first and then we doubled the time. But here's the thing. We sublimated it two times at 200 and 250 and we did them both for 20 seconds. So it had 40 seconds, which is the same amount of time this is getting, but it still didn't stick. So um, I'm going to say that theory is out the window, that the time did not impact this. It was just the temperature. So I don't know how hot the iron gets. Um, I don't have a temperature scanner, but like I said, I thought the iron would not be as hot. All right, so let's see, 350. And then we're going to set this for 300, um, for 400, because we're doing uh, 50... Um, degree increments. Now you know the sublimate sheets, we do recommend 380 because we test and um, this is kind of one of the things that we, oh I see a difference in the color, can you guys see that? Look at that, I'm seeing a difference. So this is at 350, let me just write it. I see, yeah, that color's popping at 350 degrees. You yeah. see it? Can you guys see that? Uh-huh. Even like the blues? because The purple, it's, look at Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Sublimation is so sexy. How's the it colors. It's going. It's going. Yeah, we were sticking at three hundred. Oh yeah. So, but we recommend three eighty, because that's what we tested three eight three. But I mean, here's the thing: you just want to make sure you get good high temperatures, and that's what this video is about. How high heat impacts sublimation, and I mean, you guys see it here. This is an iron, so we got some. But the, and that's what I wanted to see. So I'm glad we're seeing that. We got some on the iron. We didn't really see anything at 200 and 250. I'll bring that one back. This is 300 degrees. It looks nice. But then when we got to 350, that's what I'm talking about. And that's what everybody loves sublimation. So we're not all the way to 400 yet. And we're still gonna keep our test at um, 400 degrees. I'll go to 450, babe. Uh, the next one after four. Ooh. Yeah, we'll go to four. We'll go to four fifty. Do that one on the corner sleeve of the shirt, cause okay, it'll probably be extreme heat. Well, it it kind of be up at the top if I can put it here that okay. way, cause I can okay. make it on the video. Oh, no. true, okay. true, 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 true. Yep. All right, so this is gonna be four hundred at forty. Okay. And I think this is gonna be good, cause that's kind of a standard temperature too. Uh, I've I've done a lot of stuff sublimating at four hundred for um, one minute. So that works out really good. So if you guys have any questions or anything, say something. Say something. I know you're here. I'm here too. I'd love to hear from you guys. So there we go. There it is right there. And then I'm going to bring this down. Um, I don't care that you guys don't see my face. I want you guys to see the results more so because that's what this is about. And let's see. We're at 380. Did I make the right temperature? Oh, I set it to 380, yeah. I'm like, um, in my house, we're high energy people. Hmm. And um, I think towards the end of the day, we burn out. Hmm. My husband, I don't know if he ever burns out. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm like, I'm at, I'm at that point. All right. Hmm. So it's gotta heat up for a minute. And then um, we'll do that. But yeah, that's really good. So I, I'm really surprised at the 200. And then um, one day we're gonna get a scanner and see, but this was 200 and 250 and it didn't do anything. Thank you for um, joining us, um, Ashley Hayes. I think that's right. Again, I'm so sorry if I um, pronounced the names incorrect. Please um, phonetically um, spell it out and I'll definitely say it proper. Um, I do apologize for that. So I'm keeping this one over here because we want to, we don't want to mix the results up. So we're at 394, 
So I'm thinking that we're going to see really good results here. I'm not worried about this shirt burning or anything, but I think that it should really prop. Now, 450, I don't know what's going to happen at 450, but we'll see. But I think that this is um, good to show the variation in the colors at high temperatures. So here we go. We've got 400. I'm going to go ahead and put that down for 40 seconds. So they're all, all the temperatures are getting 40 seconds. So they're getting 40 seconds of fame to show what they're about. And like I said, sublimation, you can use high temperatures. And... Um, Hey, cold talker, how are you? They're getting high temperatures, and the high temperatures are really good for sublimation because they bring out those colors. There's that reaction in there that comes from the heat on it, and it's really nice, and it's really beautiful. Because when you see sublimated shirts, you just, I mean, the colors are nice. You know, I, I love color in my life. I like everything with color. All right, so... Here we are, let's see, 400. So I'm expecting the best results out of 400. And then I'm gonna go ahead and preset, and, and look, my husband always talks about the steam. Did you see the steam come up? He always says, you need really good steam. So I'm gonna go ahead and preset this to 450. Oh my. Yeah, 450 is really high, but yeah. we're gonna, we're you gonna- do 425? Um, okay, I'll do 425 and, okay, I'll do 425. And then if you have another patch, like little piece. I have two patches left. Then we might dare to go to forfeit. Okay, let's do 425 and then we'll see 450. So we'll let that set. All right, and then let's see 400. And see, it's the same thing, beautiful colors. Even If you ask me, I say it's even more so than the, this red. is 350. Red. When you see this red uh -huh. and that one. Well, they look the same to me. They look, does it one look richer to you? Look at, look at the dark. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, I see now. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, so but I mean, that? you're just, that what, was, that was, was that? 400. 400? Uh -huh. Oh, man, we you're, are. You're still, you're still getting a good colors. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. You know what I did? <coughs> did think, thank you. All right. So here we have where we did it with the iron. Mm. Well, actually, we're going to use this one because I wasn't so convinced. Now, our sublimate sheet, sheet did not stick with the iron. And um, it just, you know what? I noticed this too. Look, it's got like the little um, indentations from the iron. So it actually, it kind of burnt the material. It's not, it, it really is not made for irons. It is made for sublimation because this is the iron. It didn't stick on this one all the way. But here, you don't have any of those results. You have your nice flat press, and it comes out really good. Here, it looks good, but th that's 300. When you move to 350, you're seeing much richer, nicer colors. And even at 400, that consistency that you get with sublimating at high heats. And that, that's why sublimation is so popular and just so, so lively, because it really brings things to life. So we're going to do this one. I think we said 425. And I'm moving the sheet down so that um, the heat does not impact the other ones. So I'm going to put this on here for 425 at 40 seconds. Yeah. And we know that at 200 and 250 degrees when we tried it, we did not get any results. All right. So that's got the 40 seconds. And this was the one from 200 degrees. So I don't know how hot my iron is, but when we did this one at 200 and 250, this is the last patch I have left. As you see, it doesn't even look like it's been sublimated and it did not stick. So I just didn't want to um, use the sheet, but I'm going to try it in the end to see. I'm pretty sure it'll still stick because the adhesives there, it just it did not stick. It The heat, it, was, it wasn't high enough. And I was actually going to research that and see the average temperature of an iron, what it is. All right, so here we go. Let's see, 425. And if you guys see that steam that comes up. And our sheet, I'm going to stop using this sheet because the sheet is getting tired. I can see like a yellow tint. Yeah, it's starting to burn. So that's the thing you want to, you want to change your parchment paper out. And especially when you have really high temperatures. Okay. So we're seeing that consistency. So we're at those good temperatures that sublimation likes. That's 420 five degrees do you see a difference babe well i think i like 400 you like 400 yeah because we overcooked it 
Okay. See that? And that's four twenty five. Well, I mean I think I think the blacks I think the blacks are richer at four hundred than four hundred and twenty five. Because uh -huh. if you look at the blacks, even the black right here on the uh, what is that, three fifty? Uh huh. Yep. So I, do you want uh hey, should we do four fifty guys or should we um what do you guys think? Should we try one at four fifty to just see? You guys want to see that? Because I have one patch seat. left. Yeah, I'll put it on the sleeve. So this is 425. So this this is what we're up a lot. We're um, testing things, trying them out, trying our ideas out, see what works, what doesn't work. In the laboratory. That's, that's in the laboratory. Like I said, that's how um, our discovery of a sub sublimate. We are testing. So I'm going to go ahead and do it, and I'm going to do it on the sleeve. Because I'm not expecting good results. And I am expecting that it's probably going to burn it. Because that's really high. So, I oh know, 420. Oops, I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't even change the temperature. And I can feel the heat coming from here. And I, I've never sublimated anything at 450. Um, but we're testing, so we're going to test it out and just see what, um, what happens, what kind of results we get. Just so we know, because now we can say now we know. But as you see, what, so if, if I was new to sublimation, I would, I would recommend starting at, I would say 300. Three, well, that's the, th the 350 up to 400. 350 to 400 those those gave good results and this is this is a um, cotton shirt this, these are the sublimate sheets that I use as we talked about we always keep our scraps so this was a sheet that I had um, sublimated um, to do for a test and I didn't use it and um, hey good evening thanks for joining us so okay we're at 437 so yeah I, I would I would start at those temperatures because I think that um and I'll hold it up close after so that you guys can see. Because when you first look at it, you think, oh, you see colors in all of them. But then when you see the variations, like even the yellow, like you can say, well, this is brighter because it has more yellow. But when you look at the yellow shades in here, it's just so much richer, the green, because they all have green. So let's focus on the greens because that would be good for you guys to see when I hold it up. And you can um, get a true test and say, okay, you know what, I'll do that now. So let's start. This is with the iron. And um, we did this one twice because this one we actually, we were putting it on there with the 200. When we sublimated the patch at 200 and 250, we did not get any results. It did not stick. It did not sublimate. So then we moved it up another um, 50 degrees to 300. Our sublimate sheet stuck on there. And we also got some colors, if you can see that, okay? So here's the iron. These are both results. So they, they look nice, but then when you look at that, and that's the 350, no, that's 300. You can see the 300 in there. It looks good, but now look at 350. It looks a lot richer than the 300. That's the 300, and that's the 350. Now, let's look at 400. 400 looks good, but if you look closer, it kind of like charred the colors. It was a little bit much for it, I think. You can still do it at 400. I mean, you got them, but I mean, even at, well, no, I'm going to change because I'm looking at the black and the 425. That looks really high. The black here and the 400 looks good. Looking at the green and the 400 and the three, I can't see what that is, but whatever that is, those colors look good. And then also here, that they look okay, but I'm really it seeing faded. it looks faded. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think the 400 and the 350, they look really I, good. I, I say I like 400 better. And we recommend for our, for our sheet, mm -hmm. um, you can do, you, I mean, and this is to show you, this is where you're getting your sublimation colors because sublimation does require that high heat to bring out the color, the richness of it. So I yeah, think we're ready. ready. Yep. So now, do, let's see what happens at 450. We're going to put the 450 on the sleeve because we know that's high. Mm -hmm. And move these down. All right, so I'm going to put it over here. 
And let me move this. I just don't want it to get that. Okay. There you go. 450 for 40 seconds because we tested them all at 40 seconds and we'll see what kind of results we got. But yeah. What do you guys think? And I'm looking at the 352, even the red. The red is like here, it looks kind of orange. It's not as rich. Like, I'm sure that this is probably red right here. And it does have some orange in it. But this looks good. This looks good. But I really like, you know, the 350 and the 400 are really close. Dun, 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 dun. Here's that moment of reveal. All right, and I'm gonna turn this press up and look at all that heat that came out. Ooh. So let's see what our final is. Oh, faded. Mm -hmm. Not good. So this is, you can go too high. So you see, it's still got steam on it. It's a little hot, so that's 450. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna hold it close so you can see. It's not rich. It got really dull and kind of mm -hmm. ugly. Right here, like you can see the blue starting to dull when you had it in the light. Like you got to see rich, dark, like uh, navy blue. Uh huh. Is that 400? And then it looks sky blue. What temperatures are those? Can you see? 400. This is a 400. 400? Yeah. 425. Look at a dark navy, like a sky blue. Uh huh. Like, I don't know, yellow. So, yeah, that's what he said that um, he I, noticed I like that. This one. That's the 400. Yep. Uh -huh. I like the 350 and the 400. That's where you get. So, sublimation, as you see, you want your, you want your um, dark temperatures. So, oh, I really wanted to test that other sheet, but okay, I can still do it. Let's just, I'm just gonna test and see the sheet that we tried if it's gonna stick. And this was this one we tried at um, 200, 200 and 250. Oh, I, you know what? I turned it off. Okay, he wants me to go to four. Can we go in the middle? Oh, let's go at 380 since we advertised 380. It ain't like a plug like Daisy. Alright, so that you guys can see that. And I'm going to put it right in between the two, between the 350 and the 400. Well, I'm glad our press is behaving. So, 380 for 40 seconds. So, I'm actually going to put it right, that's 400, 425, let me just write 450 on here. So I can make these diapers when I post so that people can see and actually use them to help them in their um, sublimation journeys. So I'm going to put this one right here so that um, we can see in between the two so that you can see. And this is the temperature that we tested um, the sublimate sheets at. We, we tested them at a lot of temperatures, kind of like this, and we pull them off. And that's what um, we decided. So. And on a lot of material. And, yeah. So, yep. Thanks for joining us, Photography World. All right, so this one, okay. Oh, we're already at 380, okay. I think this is a bad sheet. I'm just gonna use it. Babe, can you bring me a sheet real quick? A parchment? My she my sheets are, um, I don't know if you can tell, but they're like, they're, they're, they're burned. Overcooked. Mm. Yeah, they're cooked. Yeah, look, look at the difference. <laughs> There's one and yeah, you can see the color in them. All right, so we're going to put this over here, and we're going to do 380 for 40 seconds. I don't know if you have an issue with that. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right, and... All right, there's that firm pressure. Um, firm pressure also is important um, when you're sublimating, especially when you're using patches. Uh, because you want to make sure that you get a even uh, temp uh, pressure and so that your your temperatures can um, be evenly distributed throughout it. You don't want like a lot of air and things getting in. You want it to, to kind of seal it and marry it so that it can do what it needs to do whenever any type of shirt that you're doing, but especially with sublimation because you do need those high temperatures. So three, two, one, and here we go. To turn this off because we're not going to do that anymore. And oh, just 
just looking at it. I'm saying it looks beautiful, and it does. <laughs> Let me see. Look at that. Where's it? That's the one? That's 380 at 40. And it's stuck? Yep, it's stuck. It's and hot. Activated. The shirt is hot. But you see that? So right here, we have 350. We have 400. I like and 380. right there, we have three. And that's Let me see. Let me see. I'm comparing the four to the three. Uh-huh. I think 380 is where it's at. Right, babe. This yeah. one we test it. <laughs> this one's richer darkness than that is. And that's what we recommend. You want to do your sheet at 380, so you see it here. And, I mean, you still have nice colors with the 350 and the 400, but that 380, mm -hmm. is that's, that's where it's at. That's what we test it. So, um, and, and he probably doesn't remember, but we had... Um, a lot of patches like this. We had a, a picture of our daughter because we were testing pictures. 380. Uh, uh, when we were doing a temperature test. But this is um, 380 degrees at 40 seconds. So this is what we recommend. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I, I like that the best. It, it was the most impressive. So that's 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 it. Again, I'll show you. So um, we have over here, we um, sublimate it with an iron, just a regular iron. We um, This one we did twice, as you see over here, because... Um, we didn't time it, but one of the things that I did notice is that the iron, I don't know what temperature the iron is, but it didn't get as rich colors. Cause let, let's, let's compare the colors. This is, I don't know if you can see it like this, but this is like what I go back. So if you can look at those yellows, you can see like a difference. The blue's not as rich. The whole picture's not as rich. And then we moved it up to 300 degrees. So if you can see, now, I'll just bring it all the way up because I want you guys to see it good. So there's the iron. There's 300. This is 350. And the 350 looks good. I like the 350. And the 400. And then we did 425. So, yeah, 425. And 425, my husband said, oh, it's kind of burning it. And then when we did 450, it burned it out. You can see a big difference. But this is the 380 that we recommend. And this was not a part of the test. I wasn't really trying to promote sublimate sheets other than to use it for the test. But since we had that patch left over. Oh, and this is that patch that was originally we did. We started the test at 200 and 250. It did not stick. It did not sublimate at all. So because we had the patch left over, we went ahead and used it and sublimated at 380 at 40 seconds. And these are the results. And that's what we recommend on the sublimate sheets. And as you see, it just it looks beautiful, that color. And even in there's the um, 350 and the 400 right there that you're looking at. And you have nice colors. But I think this, I mean, they all look good, but this really looks good. And it's just... It, it really pops the color. And with sublimation, that's what you wanna do. You want your color to pop because that's the beauty of sublimation, what it can do. And everyone feels good wearing something that, you know, is vibrant, it pops, it looks nice. So thanks guys for joining us. I just ask if you guys can um, show us some love on YouTube, on our channel. Um, this video will be on there. We put all our videos on there, um, the whole videos. We have a lot of other videos. We even have short videos. So um, show, uh, show some love at um, YouTube. It's um, ABC Designs for You. And also on um, TikTok, ABC Designs for You. We're also on, uh, we are on Instagram. Um, and we also are on Twitter, um, I have to say. And we just don't have as much time. Or a lot of times I just don't know what to say on Twitter. So, because I, I do all of that stuff. And I don't know what to say, so I just haven't really said anything. But um, YouTube, we post all our videos. We have a lot of um, instructional videos, and we've been getting a lot of requests for that. So being that we do offer a custom support service, which is like, I mean, it's individualized because we are a small business, and we want to be supportive, and we know the struggles that we went through. So any type of way that we can help, we're all about it. Um, hey, as, uh, SG Farmer uh, 77 thanks for joining us. We're just finishing this, this up. You can see the whole video. It, it's just a heat test talking about the different temperatures of sublimation. Check it out on our YouTube. We also have a couple of videos on our um, website, abcdesignsforyou.com, um, in the gallery. And um, thanks, guys, for joining us tonight. And um, you guys take care. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. And God bless you guys. And God bless your businesses. And thanks from ABC Designs for you.